Okay, we retain another integral. We've got the integral of x to the 101 plus x all to the 99th dx. Okay, I tried this one last night and I couldn't seem to get it right. I got the wrong answer multiple times. And finally, I gave up. So I think the lesson there is don't integrate when you're really tired and also don't integrate on an empty stomach. So now to get started with this, I'm going to want to do some kind of u substitution. And, you know, the troubling thing is that we've got x in both terms. So I think I want to factor this. If I can just take this, if I factor an x out, this is going to become x to the 100 plus 1. Now we have the whole thing to the 99th power, so what I can do is kind of split it up because we're multiplying here, so I can distribute in the exponent here and here. When I rewrite this, it's going to become x to the 99 times x to the 100 plus 1 to the 99th. And so the reason this one's pretty easy is because at this point, this is set up for a u substitution because with the power here, when we in, well, sorry, when we differentiate this, we're gonna get back a 99 power. So let's see how this is gonna look when we put it back into the integral. Okay, now here with the rewrite, let's do this u substitution on what we have right there. I'm gonna set my u equal to x to the 100 plus one. Take a derivative on this, du is gonna be power rule here, 100 x to the 99. Derivative of 1 is just 0, and then we have a dx on the end. And now before I substitute, I want to set this up where we have our du. So from this expression, we have the dx, we have the x to the 99. I can multiply in 100 here, so we have everything we need for the du. But so that I'm not changing it, we'll multiply by 1 over 100 in front. Now we'll substitute this thing, so we're going to have 1 over 100. This thing here, this is u, so this is going to transform into u to the 99 du. This is going to become u to the 100 over 100. And then we just need to back substitute in order to finish it off. So plugging in, we're going to have x to the 100 plus 1 to the 100. 100 times 100. I'll write this as 100 squared in the denominator. Add a plus c and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Much easier the next day after I got some rest. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.